one. Yes. But again, here she is, Kelly McGuire Curry. She's off to the Woodsman's Museum in Boys Town for this very interesting look at wood. Welcome to the Central New Brunswick Woodsman's Museum, located in Boys Town. Upon entering the museum, one begins to experience a part of New Brunswick's past where the memories of our grandfathers had been made timeless. Inside this open, solid wooden structure, one can view close up the wide variety of species of birds and mammals known to this area. <coughs> Directly behind the museum is a replica of the Lumberjacks' cookhouse and bunkhouse. Inside, Francis Smith tells us about the cookhouse and all of its, can we say, luxuries. Here you, you're depicting the life of the Lumberjack back in the 1800s up to the present day. We, on the 15-acre site, we have uh, practically all the artifacts you would find back in those days. Right now, we are situated in the cookhouse as, and it's made to scale that you would find in the woods at that time. The artifacts in the cookhouse are the original tin plates, tin cups, uh, the wood stove, uh, you name it. That's the bare utensils they had in the cookhouse at that time. This cook-up house was set up to accommodate 20 to 25 men. and. Uh, it would be a small logging crew and in the early 1900s or the 1800s you would find such an operation. At this site the men would come in in October, do the logging, cut the logs, uh, then Christmas time the logging would generally be all cut and in yards. After Christmas they would use the same camp to do their haul off to the river. Uh, getting ready for the drive in the spring. So basically the camp would be operated from October till April, maybe in the late April when they started to drive. Adjacent to the cookhouse is the bunkhouse. Fred Fairley tells us how the lumberjacks fared the cold nights of long ago. We have one long bunk which accommodated about 10 people. They slept under one, uh, one blanket, covered all the people. They were usually made out of straw or boughs, and in the bunkhouse you had a wash basin which was hewed from a log. You had a barrel stove between the two bunks, and some of the men had uh, equipment for drying their socks, It'd be a board sawed out in the shape of a sock or whittled out. The reason for having the one bunk for about ten men was to save space rather than build bunks for each individual man. It saves space by making them all long, one long bunk. All is dormant now, but come spring, be assured, the Central New Brunswick Woodsman's Museum will be all abuzz with tourists from all over. This is Kelly McGuire-Curry for NB Life.